story number four. AI is stealing from you and you like it. Yeah. Everybody's been talking about, hey, AI could be dangerous. And hey, listen, we don't want these people to lose their jobs. And all the meanwhile, we're like, hey, look, AI content. Give me that. I want more of it. Give me this right here. A lot of content starting to proliferate into our normal life without us actually stopping to think, is this AI or is it not? I was just on, I was just on Bing because I use Bing GPT and yeah, I actually downloaded the Bing browser, the Edge browser, just to really get the juice out of it. Anyway, I also had a Microsoft Zoom back in the day, so sorry, just a side. But yeah, there's, I was looking at an article and it said in the corner, story generated by AI, here are the sources. And I was like, whoa. I was just reading that and over in the side, just, yeah, man, AI made this and here are the sources. And I'm not about to go click on those links to see the sources and get, and send my ad money to the right people. I was just like, hmm, that's interesting. Too bad for those sources. And, and now we're at the point where, and this, this is what we almost titled the show, the story, AI steals Stephen Fry's voice. Did you hear about this one? Yeah, you not to you sent it to me. So tell me a little bit more about it. So yeah, the actor Stephen Fry has done a lot of cool things. You've seen him around. Basically, he got his voice taken by AI. And I'll read it here from Variety. Stephen Fry shocked to discover AI stole his voice from Harry Potter audiobooks and replicated it without his consent. His agents went quote unquote ballistic. So yeah, if you've ever done any large body of spoken work, like a podcast, maybe somebody could steal your voice and use it in, as an AI and basically do whatever they want with it. Create video game voice, do their own audio book. They could run a podcast with your voice and people aren't going to know the difference and they're not going to care if it's just what they want to hear. And what, that's what I mean when I say this AI is stealing and you like it. People are just like, oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's great. I, I get my audio book, I get my video game voice or whatever, but they don't know where the actual audio came from. And it could just be stolen from somebody else. I don't know. What do you think about the ethics of this? I think we may have mentioned it before, but this is, we're going to see more and more of this happening because these large language models are. AI systems have to learn from something. And so they're just scraping the internet, pulling all this data. And at, at first it was cute, interesting, fun. Hey, can, hey, can you write this story about like how to create a ham sandwich in the style of King, the King James version of the Bible, right? And that yeah. was fun. Thy shall get the right meat and, and place it <laughs> down. The thou's and the shall's and all that was in yeah. the, that version. But yeah, we're done with that, man. I think people realize, oh, wait a minute. Learning from stuff that I wrote and the voice thing is, is and Stephen Fry, who was the uh, voice of the audiobooks for Harry Potter. Yeah, man, if they start making more of these or, or do something else, he, that was a good paycheck for him. And we talked about it willingly, folks who've done it, James Old Jones, right, for Darth Vader. But yeah, when it's done without your consent, that's one of the reasons why these actors are striking, right, and, and mm -hmm. figuring out this. But also the other side, you see authors, uh, George Martin, writer of Game of Thrones, and John Grisham, one of the legal thriller writers of all time, a biggest selling one of all time, John Grisham, the client and the firm and things like that. They're suing these AI systems to say, hey, stop pulling our knowledge because people are writing Game, Game of Thrones style content with chat GPT. So I want to write a story with Chris and Tyrion, get it on. <laughs> so now they got, instead of you writing the fanfic, taking your yeah. time and thinking through the scenarios. You can have ChatGPT write the best fanfic for you in literally less time than it takes for you to even say the sentence. Yeah, I think they're suing, these authors are suing it because of that. So I think it's, at one time it was cute, but we're going to see more and more lawsuits come out of this because people are realizing their intellectual property is at danger. Because once they replicate you, they can just do what it wants. They can make it do what it wants and now labor is out the picture. Yeah, you said replicator. I thought a Blade Runner. It's happening. 